Hi folks, Rudy Green here. I want to share one more story comparison that um, is kind of a follow-up to my, my first video there. There's going to be three more after this, but this one I just want to kind of knock out because it's, it's a shorter story and it's one that was included in Too Far to Walk instead of The Thrill of the Chase. And because of its placement uh, in the Too Far to Walk book, I don't think it is as important perhaps as the other stories. Uh, my logic for that, quite simply, is the same that uh, Tony Eunice used in an AGK media video. They have a much longer video going into this, but basically the general theory is if, God forbid, Forrest had died in 2010, we wouldn't have as much of these extra materials by means of the scrapbooks and Forrest blog post and later books that incorporated both of those things. And so the intention of the puzzle was that this could be solved with just the thrill of the chase and the poem, which of course is contained in the thrill of the chase. So the story I'm going to go to is one that you know from Too Far to Walk as Buffalo Smoke, and it's a expanded version of some antidotes that were originally included as the first part of the Montana newspaper article titled, uh, what was it called, Boyhood Memories of West Yellowstone Long Ago. So it was expanded and sort of fleshed out a little bit more and then published in 2013 in the Too Far to Walk book. It may have been posted on Forrest blog as well. I don't remember for sure. Uh, you can check on that. But this is just a comparison of the original version of that story and what was edited and changed once it was uh, published in book form five years later. Uh, it's a short story, so we'll go through it pretty quick here. Uh, let me pop it up here so you can see it beside me. There will also be links in the description to where you can view the same PDF here on Thor's, uh, the Thor forum, the Hint of Riches forum. Uh, we have a change of the word from dad to father. He clarifies and adds Yellowstone Park, takes out the unnecessary detail of the West Gate. Uh, a lot of these little changes just seem like something an editor would do. I don't see anything particularly interesting about how this story was updated thus far. Um, <clears throat> talks about fishing, you know, in the early morning when it's cold, uh, so cold that ice would form. That's kind of a literal idea of waters halting. Uh, other people have pointed that out before. I, I, again, I, I really don't think there's anything significant in this story. I'm just gonna kind of go through it uh, to be consistent and go through all of these. Uh, Talks about an odor that he doesn't recognize and then discovers the source of the odor by observing and looking around. I looked around. And then in the final part of this story, the final couple of sentences, uh, Forrest adds a story about the buffalo or adds a antidote about the buffalo, about how he sees them as being very magnificent. They don't you know, attack people, <laughs> which is a good quality to have, generally speaking. He clarifies that this happened on the Madison River, even though it doesn't say river, we assume that that's a river, and adds the phrase in peace. Uh, this is the only thing that I think might be a clue, is the context of how that word peace is used. So that's uh, it for the Buffalo Smoke story. And we will post the other three that are more in-depth versions of the Thrill of the Chase stories uh, in the next couple of days.